Scarlet Lady is the maiden vessel for the new cruise line Virgin Voyages. This 17 deck, 110,000 gross ton ship can carry up to 2,700 passengers. If you are considering a cruise on Scarlet Lady, this video is for you as we go deck by deck to show you all the ship has to offer in our exclusive Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady ship tour up next. Welcome Bora Cruisers, I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. And as a couple that's been on over 50 cruises with 12 different cruise lines, we really weren't sure what to make of Virgin Voyages. We first sailed on the cruise line when it debuted back in October of 2021 and have just returned for our second sailing last month. So based on those multiple experiences, we put together this ship tour to showcase everything the ship has to offer as we go deck by deck, exploring all the public spaces on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. As always, if you have any questions about Virgin Voyages or just cruising in general, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer them. Like we do with all our ship tours, we're going to start at the very top of the ship and then work our way deck by deck, exploring every square inch. So let's start this Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady ship tour all the way to the top of the vessel on deck 17. This partial deck has only the jogging track and the outdoor yoga area. The runway is the metallic red halo jogging track on deck 17. It encircles the aft of the ship and we like that it's separated from the other outdoor spaces. That way those who are using it for walking or running do not have to dodge sun loungers like you often have to do on running tracks on other cruise ships. Up a short flight of stairs from the runway at the ferry aft of the ship, you'll find the Perch outdoor yoga area. The Perch offers morning yoga sessions with a view. There are also loungers set up here during the day for a quiet spot to catch some rays. Continuing down to deck 16, all the way forward, is Richard's rooftop. This VIP sun deck and bar is an exclusive area for suite guests only. Here you'll find plenty of loungers, day beds, and other furniture, as well as a whirlpool. Right outside Rich's rooftop, on the port side, is the Sun Club Cafe. This small outside eatery serves up poke bowls. The spa offers a quick bite while lounging in the sun or after a session in the athletic club. Continue on deck 16, the Slum Club, which is essentially the sun deck above the main pool, is lined with loungers and red metal chairs that make for great photo ops and more. In the middle of this deck is a Sun Club Bar. If you're looking to catch some rays away from the congested pool area, this will be your closest bar to grab a frosty cocktail. Heading aft on deck 16, on the starboard side, there's a narrow alley with the private cabanas overlooking the ocean. These cabanas can be rented for an upcharge. Heading inside on deck 16, on the port side, you'll find the training camp. This is a group fitness area offering classes like hit, don't quit, bungee classes, and more. The best part is that all the group fitness classes are complimentary on Virgin Voyages. Also on the poor side, but found outside during your walk to the aft athletic club on deck 16, you'll find a boxing ring and other associated workout equipment. While this sounds like a cool feature in theory, we never ever saw anyone using it. There are also some adult seesaws, swings, and hammocks here, 
which were definitely more our style than the workout equipment. Aft on deck 16, in the center of the athletic club, there is also a sports court. The small basketball court is open for free play throughout the cruise. There are also scheduled activities like dance classes, dodgeball competitions, and more. Finally, aft on deck 16, you find the athletic club. This area is home to two bars, the Instagram famous net, and plenty of day beds and other oversized lounge furniture. While this colorful space is great, it does seem underutilized. With little shaded space, most sailors come for their photo on the net, but don't stay very long. There are some scheduled activities in the athletic club, like the pajama party on night one and karaoke under the moon, but that's about it. In our opinion, it would have been great if the net were an infinity pool instead. All the way forward on deck 15, you'll find the most luxurious suites on the ship, the Mega Rockstar Suites. These suites include complimentary cocktails and daily access to the thermal suite. Deck 15 is also home to the main pool deck. The Aquatic Club is home to a relatively small pool with surrounding day beds to get your tan on. There are also plenty of other loungers on the pool deck and cleverly designed sofas in the shade. The Aquatic Club is also the place to be for the Sailway Party, live DJ music during the day, and the famous Scarlet Night Pool Party. Of course, you don't have to go far for a drink either. Located right next to the ship's main pool, the Aquatic Club Bar will be your go-to spot while lounging poolside on a sea day. The bar serves up some great mojitos and frozen cocktails like the Skinny Pina and the Frosé all day. Continuing aft on deck 15, behind the Aquatic Club Bar, you'll find the Gym and Tonic Bar. This bar is situated right near the Wellbeing Pool and not far from the B Complex gyms. This bar offers smoothies, fresh pressed juices, and reset cocktails, in addition to a full bar. Near the gym and tonic bar, there's a circular well-being pool to take a dip and relax after your workout. There's also some outdoor strength training equipment right before you head back inside toward the B Complex gyms. The Build and Balance Gym is located on the starboard side of Deck 15. This gym space is dedicated to strengthening and stretching with a balance studio, weight machines, and free weights. Across the way on the port side is the Bike and Burn Gym. This fitness space is dedicated to cardio equipment and has a separate cycle studio. Aft on deck 15 is the galley. The galley is Virgin Voyage's replacement for the typical cruise ship buffet. This food court has several quick service stations serving up a variety of made to order specialties throughout the day. There is plenty of indoor seating as well as some outdoor seating at the back of the venue. The galley offers table service and food runners which will deliver your selections. Your choices include the daily mix, which has soups, salads, cereal, bagels, and more. Dinner and Dash, which offers all-day omelets and breakfast. 
Bento Baby, which has fruit bento by day and sushi bento boxes by night. A burger bar. Let's talk about it. Hot off the presses, which offers a variety of breakfast and lunch paninis and sandwiches. Noodle around, which has ramen and miso soup choices for breakfast and lunch. The sweet side, which has breakfast pastries in the AM and desserts in the PM. Wall bread, which is a go-to place for breakfast breads and flatbreads. And the grounds club too, your onboard espresso shop. While the gallery remains open most of the day, each of the different food stations have their own set hours. So you should check the Virgin Voyages app or the daily sheet to get the hours of operation for the particular venues. Located on the port side of the galley is Gunbei. Gunbei is a social Korean style barbecue. At this restaurant, you and some new friends can grill up great conversation while cooking meat on a hot plate right in front of you. Some menu items include crispy chicken and short ribs, along with stir fried vegetables, rice, and more. Oh, and come ready for a little drinking game too. Gumbay is Virgin Voyage's alternative to the typical teppanyaki Japanese steakhouse that you find on many mega ships. Decks 14 to 8 include all staterooms. On our most recent voyage, we stayed in cabin 14106A, which is located on the port side and considered a central sea terrace stateroom, although it is quite a long walk from either the midship elevators or the aft elevators. To help sailors find their way, staterooms are designated with either an A, which means it's located on the port side of the ship, or a Z, which means it's on the starboard side of the ship. According to the Virgin Voyages website, the Central Sea Terrace is 225 square feet. All rooms include mood lighting, a 43-inch square TV, several power and USB outlets, and a safe big enough for your laptop. Immediately upon entering our room, the closet was on the left side and the bathroom was on the right side. Further entering the room, a small desk was on our left hand side with a mini fridge and a chair and a multi-purpose desk and coffee table to our right side. The bed was on the forward wall facing aft. While Virgin Voyages boasts the transformational seabed when it first came out, they've kind of downplayed that aspect of the bed. Since our sailing in October, Virgin Voyages has done some slight updates to the staterooms to make them feel more homey and cozy. That includes adding several wood accents to break up the color palette. For a five day sailing, we found that there was plenty of storage and space in our cabin. While overall the bathrooms are a 10 on the small side without much counter space or storage, we are fans of the rainfall showers and upgraded bath products. We do like all the technological enhancements of the staterooms, including the tablet, which allows you to control many of the in-room functions, as well as having USB outlets and power outlets throughout the cabin. We are also fans of the Sea Terrace hammock. While not the biggest balcony we've ever had on a cruise ship, the balconies do provide space for two chairs and a table, as well as a hammock. The hammock quickly became our favorite spot for lounging. On deck seven, located on the port side forward, you'll find the groupie. The groupie is a karaoke room where you can book private sessions for you and your friends. There are different rooms for various size groups and signups are first come first serve. On the starboard side of the deck seven forward is SIP, the champagne lounge. The SIP menu features 
few signature cocktails, along with a wide selection of wine and champagne. Sip also hosts an upcharged afternoon tea experience with or without the bubbles. During our second voyage, there were also several meetups at Sip, including one hosted by Dr. A from Never Sleep Alone. Continuing further aft towards the roundabout on Deck 7, you'll find the future voyages sales and chart room desks on the starboard side. You can head to the future voyages sales desk if you want to book another cruise while on board Scarlet Lee. The chart room is also available for sailors for help and support with things like the Virgin Voyages app, shore excursions, and more. This is in addition to the sailor services located down at Deck 5. Voyage Vinyl in the middle of this roundabout area is the onboard record shop with music magazines, headphones, and record players. On the port side midship of Deck 7, there's the Draft House. This chill venue features a wide variety of beers on tap. In addition, you'll find plenty of bottled and canned beers and even shots like the Jellyfish. You can grab a drink and relax in nearby seating or overlook all the action occurring in the roundabout. On the port side beyond the Draft House, there is Lick Me Till I Ice Cream. As the name would imply, Lick Me Till I Ice Cream is the ice cream shop on board Virgin Voyages. This venue serves complimentary scoops of homemade ice cream throughout the day. You can choose from a variety of flavors and cone selections for no added cost. Port side beyond the ice cream shop is the pizza place. The pizza place is your go-to spot for made-to-order personal pizzas any time of day. You can choose one of the options on the menu or create your own custom pie. The chicken pesto and pepperoni get two thumbs up from us. The venue has a small area of indoor seating with additional outdoor seating as well. Of course, you can also get your personal pizza to go. There are also a number of grab and go options like Caesar salad and wraps available at this venue. Continuing to the heart of the ship, beyond the roundabout, on the starboard side is the grounds club. The grounds club is your coffee house at sea on Virgin Voyage to Scarlet Lane. This venue serves Intelligentsia coffee and other espresso based drinks. You can grab your favorite latte, cappuccino, or even a nitro cold brew any time of the day. Of note, only drip coffee is included in the cruise fare. These premium beverages will cost you extra money, or you can apply your bar tab credit towards these drinks. The Grounds Club also serves continental breakfast items and snacks throughout the day, which are included in the cruise fare. Continuing aft from the Grounds Club, there is the Social Club. The Social Club is a casual American diner pairing snacks alongside classic games like air hockey, foosball, and shuffleboard. Here you can grab some popcorn, hot dogs, warm pretzels, or sweet treats. The venue even offers spiked milkshakes for an upcharge. Activities like the Gamers Lab, art classes, social karaoke, and scavenger hunts occur here daily. Located in a secluded corner through the social club is another bar, the Loose Cannon. This nautically inspired bar features a signature drink menu with hits like the El Capitano's Gunpowder or the Shocktopus, which is shots for up to five people. Come for the drinks, stay for the fun, as this venue features some salty trivia sessions and a classic jukebox. Also located in the opposite corner of the social club is an arcade with retro video games that are complimentary. Aft on deck seven is the Dock House. The Dock House is a casual indoor venue with a quiet beach inspired lounge with plenty of comfy furniture. This venue also shows up Mediterranean inspired bites from a mezza cart and skewers from the grill. alongside a bar with some of the best drinks on the ship. Whether you're looking for a cocktail, some sangria, or even some fresh pressed juices, this is your go-to spot.
Depending outside, there is the outdoor counterpart at the very after Deck 7, the dock. This is perhaps our favorite spot on the entire ship. Just like the indoor counterpart, you can order up your favorite drinks from the outdoor bar and snacks from the grill and the mezzacart. Don't miss the steak, octopus, and shrimp skewers. This area is a quiet retreat with day beds, umbrellas, and other furniture with a resort-like vibe. Here you can enjoy the fresh air and wake views away from the party scene at the Aquatic Club. Finally, the entrance to the wake is also located aft on Deck 7. Walking downstairs, you'll find the grandest restaurant on Scarlet Lady. The wake offers upscale menu items like steak and seafood dishes alongside amazing wake views. Some of our favorite dishes included the wedge salad, the shrimp and grits, and the filet. The side dishes and desserts should not be overlooked either. While most of the menu items are complimentary, there are a few items that will cost an additional upcharge, like raw bar selections or the tomahawk steak for two. The wake is open every night for dinner and is also open for brunch, serving options like brioche French toast, steak and eggs, and various egg benedicts. You can make reservations at the restaurants on Scar Lady pre-cruise using the Virgin Voyages app or once on board. However, you'll need to wait until you're on board to make reservations for breakfast and lunch. All the way forward on deck six is the main entrance to the main theater, the Red Room. This two-story transformational space featured three shows during our most recent cruise. Dual Reality, Untitled Dan Show Party Thing, and Ships in the Night. Each show has its own unique style and theater configuration. Dual Reality is a Cirque-style show telling a modern-day take on Romeo and Juliet with jugglers, acrobatics, and strength performances. This show was our clear favorite. The untitled dance show party thing was a more immersive performance. Part social commentary, part dance party, this interactive show features a cast of dancers who deliver a high energy performance from beginning to end. I am more of a fan of the show than the wife is and think it's much better than the typical welcome aboard show you get on the first night of other cruise lines. Lastly, Ships in the Night is the most traditional cruise ship show on Scarlet Lady. This show features the cast of dancers along with one lead singer who tells the story of human connection and personal journeys with the help of digital imagery. Exiting the Red Room, you'll head through the casino on the starboard side of the ship. This is your pretty typical casino with table games, slot machines, and a bar, though the casino is rather small for a ship of this size. The second signature entertainment venue, and perhaps the most photo-worthy spot on the ship, is the Manor. Entering through a dazzling hallway off the casino, this two-story venue features three bars and a number of performances throughout the cruise. The signature show here is Never Sleep Alone, an adult-themed interactive cabaret. The Manor also serves as a live music venue, the after-hours dance party, and a spot for other events with the happenings cast like cocktails and revelry with the diva. In our opinion, this drag queen show is one of the best performances on the ship.
Continuing aft into the roundabout, you'll find the squid ink tattoo parlor on the starboard side. Yes, that's right. Scarlet Lady has a tattoo parlor at sea, and actually, it's really popular. While this is not our thing, I guess a nautically themed tattoo would be the perfect souvenir from your cruise on Scarlet Lady. Adjacent to the tattoo parlor, you'll also find other salon services, like Stubble and Groom, Dry Dock, and the Mac Beauty Lounge. Set off to the port side of the roundabout is the On the Rocks Bar. This mixology bar features martinis and cocktails with an emphasis on aged spirits served on the rocks. Given its central location, this is a popular spot on Scarlet Lady. You'll certainly want to enjoy a drink here while listening to the Virgin Voyages house band, or the acoustic guitarist, or while watching one of the many happenings that occur here. We particularly enjoyed the guitarist Selkie on our sailing and found ourselves popping in here on a nightly basis to listen to her sets. Continuing aft on deck 6 is High Street, with retail shops on both the starboard and port side. Here you'll find shops with resort clothing, sunglasses, jewelry, logo gear, and more. Aft on deck six, you'll find two more restaurants. Loki on the port side is the Test Kitchen. The Test Kitchen is a laboratory-like setting that offers a tasting menu and is part cooking lab, part restaurant. This venue is for those with experimental taste buds. The menu is presented as a list of ingredients and the meals evolve as a chef expertly prepares the culinary creations. There's also a vegetarian menu available. Given the princess is a picky eater, we have not dined at the test kitchen during either of our sailings, but we do liken it to a chef's table experience. However, we have dined multiple times at the other restaurant located on the starboard side of deck six, Extra Virgin. Extra Virgin is Scarlet Lee's Italian restaurant. This trattoria serves classic Italian dishes and handmade pastas in a casual setting. Some of our favorite dishes here include the fried calamari, seafood pasta, and the bucatini carbonara. For dessert, there's also affogato, which is prepared tableside. While we do love the food here, Extra Virgin is the most traditional restaurant on the ship and very similar to many specialty Italian restaurants you find on other contemporary cruise lines. Of course, the big difference with Extra Virgin is that it's completely complimentary. Midship on deck five is the Redemption Spa. Here you can book traditional spa services like massages and facials. You can also purchase passes through Thermal Suite. Currently you can reserve a three hour time block for $39 per person. The thermal Suite includes a pool, mud room, salt room, steam room, sauna, hot and cold plunge pools, and heated marble benches. Starboard on deck five aft is Sailor Services. This casual guest services area is a place to visit for all of your questions and concerns. You can also connect with Sailor Services via a messaging feature in the Virgin Voyages app while on board the ship. Located just beyond Sailor Services on deck five is Pink Agave. Pink Agave is your go-to venue for upscale Mexican offerings. This Virgin Voyages restaurant menu features small plates, medium plates, and large plates meant for sharing. Again, like all the restaurants on Virgin Voyages, Pink Agave is included in the cruise fare.
Some of our favorite dishes include the grilled corn, chicken enchiladas, the chorizo with potatoes, and the bread pudding dessert. You will also want to grab a drink from the Mezcal bar while dining here. Finally, located off on the port side of Deck 5 is Razzle Dazzle. This uniquely designed venue features a bold black and white pattern, pops of red, and metallic finishes. Razzle Dazzle is open for brunch and dinner and offers a menu with several vegan and vegetarian options. There are even a few naughty items like the smoked bacon and a secret steak and curry chicken. Of all the restaurants on Scarlet Lady, we would have to say that this is our least favorite. However, located at the back of the venue is the Red Bar with some Instagram worthy cocktails. So whether you're dining at the restaurant or just want to grab a drink at the bar, be sure to sample some of these crazy concoctions, perhaps the goldfish or the popcorn old fashioned. And there you have it. That's our exclusive deck by deck Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady ship tour. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comment section below if you sailed on this brand new ship. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise where we help you see the world one port at a time. And if you enjoyed this video, we have tons of other ship tours, cruise reviews, and cruise tip videos right here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, we recommend you check out our ship tour for Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. Similar to this video, we go deck by deck, exploring all the restaurants, entertainment venues, and public spaces on the world's largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas.